Hey everybody, it's Texas again. I uh, haven't made a video in a while. School has been uh, busy and you know, I've got a new laptop. You can see I have Vista now. Uh, I had it for a while now, almost over, you know, uh, maybe about five months, a year. So, um, not really much to talk about, but you know, it gets the job done. And it's, uh, I've been, I really need a new computer. The uh, desktop I was running on, you know, it's it's old, and I'm trying to get a new one for gaming and everything. So, but other than that, everything is good, you know. So, let me go ahead and kick this off. Uh, today, uh, lately, I've been having a problem with programs uninstalling. So, uh, what have I been doing? Is that I found a program called uh, here it is, uh, Revo Uninstaller. Go ahead and get UAC. Uh, what this program does is that, well, pretty much go over all the features here. Um, it uninstalls just like Windows, except it uninstalls a bit more for, let's say, it's a missing program I don't need. Uh, I forgot this Acer thing I was going to get rid of. Uh, Acer Grid Vista, don't really need it, so hit install. Uh, yes. Uh, and it gives you modes built in, only when it's uninstalled built in. Uh, safe, I use moderate most of the time, advanced, and they uh, scan the red. And what it does is scans the registry after it's done, and also scans for files after it's done. So you don't have to, you don't have to program it at all. You know, it just gets rid of everything. You know, but when it comes to the registry, I would check over everything, you know, make sure it's not missing anything, so you're not deleting anything that other programs might need. So go ahead and use moderate. It's gonna create automatically create a system restore point. And uh, that's gonna analyze the application data before installing it. And it's, there we go. Uh, do you want to completely remove the SL the application all its features? Yes. It's going to remove Grid Vista. Program entries, it says it removes all this, but I did find some stuff last time. Uh, now I'm not going to review it because I'm not going to install it anyway. Reinstall it. Uh, that's done. It's going to scan the registry for the hard drive and look files. Alright, now that's done. Next. And uh, it didn't really find it didn't find anything, no registry, no folders after that, but um uh there are there will be some programs that will you will find in the registry, you know. Just make sure you check over them and it's gonna ask you to select some or delete or whatever you want, just delete it. And uh if it finds folders it'll tell you that too and you can delete the folders too. You know, after that then it'll come to this screen finish. Let's click finish, it's going to automatically refresh itself. You see no more uh, Grid Vista, which is from you know, this Acer bullet where this helps you organize the way your desktop is. I don't really need it. So, anyways, uh, that's really about it. You know, that's pretty much what it does. You know, just go through here, uninstall what you want. And uh, another cool feature, other some other cool features that comes to the program is. Uh, it's got tools auto run manager shows you your programs are auto running when your computer starts up you know click one it'll let's say uh aim see at the bottom aim dot six when you want to auto start click it and it will auto start you know. windows tools you know tools for windows junk file cleaner got your options for language everything pretty straightforward the uh, hunter uh, option is pretty cool because what it does is that uh, uh, if you drag it over the program, it'll tell you where the program is, where it's from, you know, you, and you can just uh, uninstall it, stop, kill the process, you know, pretty much useful for, you know, maybe kill the virus 
Discord.exe that you cannot get rid of. Help happened to me once. Uh, let's go back to the open the menu and auto update how to do you know everything uh, that comes with the program it is pretty good. It's got a scan option which will scan your hard drive as well, but I already have seen clear for that, but all in all it's a very good uninstaller. So I will put it in the, the link in the description box to the website. It is free. And uh, yeah, um, I will be trying to make more videos in the future, hopefully. Uh, it is summer, so I have plenty of time. You know, probably make a, try to make maybe what, a video every two days, maybe a day, depending on how I feel. So thanks for watching, and hope this helped you.